So were you surprised when you got the call that there was going to be a sequel to Dolphin Tale? When I got the call about the Dolphin Tale sequel, I actually thought it was a little bit of a joke because the first one was such a perfect little present, you know, and, and how could you tell another story or what could you do to add to it? And I was very confused as why they would even want to do that because we all know about sequels, you know, that try to capitalize on the success of the first film. And in this case, the first one was so, such a success. And then I read the script and I said, oh man, Charles Martin Smith is really, he's really figured it out and, and ended up writing a story that was in some ways even better than the first one. So I was thrilled to be a part of it. Now, where do we find your character three years later? My character, Dr. Clay Haskett, sort of um, has gotten everything under control with the Marine Aquarium. Um, and he's presented with what CMA gets presented with in real life, which is this new dolphin. Uh, the problem is um, Winter's tank mate, Panama, dies, which happened in real life too. And if dolphins are not uh, paired with at least another dolphin, then they can become depressed. Um, and if that happens, it's potentially the, the aquarium could, could shut down and winter could die and uh, all of this stuff. So now we have this new dolphin and it's a matter of ethics because the whole mantra behind Clearwater Marine Aquarium is to rescue, rehab, and release. And so we want to get these animals out into the wild. If she can catch fish on her own, we have to release her. Winter is going to suffer. Um, but if it, so it, we, it's, it's a little bit of a, a, of a dilemma. So that, that's kind of where the story starts. And do you feel that your character is, is faced with any other challenges now that it's three years later with his daughter, with the family? The, the, the character that I play definitely has some, some, some more complex issues. Um, my daughter is now you know 15 and she uh, is, is becoming what I had always hoped her to become, which is this bright, um, self-assured, confident young woman. But along with that, as any parent in the real world can tell you, um, you you're, you're, you're dealing with somebody who's coming into their own and has their own perspective. And for my character, it's, it's a little hard to deal with. Um, I'm a single dad. I don't really know what to say or do, even though by my actions, my daughter has become this incredible young woman. When I actually see it happening, um, it's, it's kind of a, a challenge. And so uh, that's just another thing I have to work through. Now, did you work with Winter closely a lot? I had a chance to work with Winter mostly on the first film because I was in the water a lot more with her. But I did get a chance to work with her on the second one, too. Um, and it's the kind of thing where if they did a Dolphin Tale 48, I would, I would still look forward to the opportunity to work with her because um, there's something that is, not only is, is it magical because she's a dolphin, but this particular dolphin is just special. And I think it's as a result of her personal experience and her interaction with people in that way. It's not like she's one of these dolphins that gets trained to jump through hoops and stuff. She's not like that. She, she has a different type of relationship with people. And you can really see it in how she interacts with you. And can we talk about Hope a little? Were you there at the, when they found her? I was at the rap party the night that Hope was discovered, which was really crazy. Because you hear about these stories about Clearwater Marine Aquarium r rescuing animals and rehabilitating them. But it's rare to have a dolphin come in. And especially on the night that we were celebrating the rap party for the first film, was the same during the party. They brought in pictures of this new little dolphin that they were able to rescue, and that was a crazy coincidence, and little did we know that that, that was going to sort of pave the way for a, for a sequel. Now, the first film obviously resonated really well with a, a lot of people. Why do you think that is? There are a lot of stories to tell in, in Dolphin Tale. The basic one is how you can sort of overcome adversity, which is exactly what Winter did. She, you know, accepted her fate with, with seemingly great grace and dignity and, and always kind of seemed to smile about her new set of circumstances. Um, but there's also um, relationships here. The Dolphin Tale 2 experiences or, or explores relationships that the first one really didn't. My relationship with my daughter, 
um, Dr. McCarthy with Sawyer, um, uh, you know, all, all different sorts of dynamics that are, that are going on, which are sort of real world dynamics um, that would very easily have been not addressed in another film that didn't take it so seriously. Charles Martin Smith really had a great grasp on all of these interpersonal relationships and wanted to put all of those into the movie. And I think he did a great job. Yeah, he definitely did. And how was it having the cast all back together again? You know, to, to have a movie experience as positive as Dolphin Tale is, is pretty rare. I love making movies. Um, I love being in show business. I love doing all kinds of different stuff. Um, and having a, 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 a movie where the location's amazing, the director's amazing, the cast is amazing, the, the, the crew is amazing, all of those things being lined up and being that extraordinary is pretty rare. But then to have it again, so basically have the same crew, same location, same cast, same director, I mean, it's just, uh, it was like a perfect storm of, of, um, of joy, really. It was really a, a, a great, great experience. And uh, lastly, uh, what do you hope that people will take away from this film when they see it? Uh, I, I think people will take different things away. I, I think people who um, have kids will, will take away um, maybe some uh, common feelings that, that, that they can share with me as, as I'm raising my daughter in the film. I think people um, who have uh, suffered any kind of physical trauma um, especially, specifically, um, people who have had amputations will certainly find many things to resonate with. Um, and everything in between. It's just a, 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 a sweet, very well thought out uh, movie that I, that I hope people of all generations will be able to enjoy.